someone asked how to make a graph on the computer and so I'm going to do a quick little tutorial to show you how to do that. So if you're in your Google Drive, click New right here and uh, first of all open a Google Sheets. Okay, Google Sheets is your best bet for doing this because it easily makes graphs. So we're going to enter some data here and if you look at the data table on your um, on your lab sheet, okay, you are going to be looking at the mean number of drops, okay, and you're going to look at the type of solution. So the solution is going to be here, and the mean number of drops is here. And so I'm going to enter that here. All right, and so let's say my solution is water, first of all, and I had, let's say my mean was 45. And then uh, they had the water plus soap. So I'm going to put water plus soap. And let's say my mean was 12. And then my other solution was water plus sugar. Oops, sugar. Okay. And let's say my mean was 40. Okay. So there are my there are my data. There's my data that I'm going to need to graph. This is what I need to graph on there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this data that I just entered there. And then I'm going to click Insert Chart. Okay. And that's going to open up a chart memo, a chart editor over here on the right. But if you look, what I have here is my mean number of drops versus solution. My mean number of drops is on my y-axis already. My bar is already done for me. My solution, the type of solution is here, so my labels are there for me. If I need to change anything, then you can change, you can copy the chart this way. You can click on these three little dots over here on the right, and you can copy it that way. You can also, you can also right click it and copy it. You can also um, just copy with the control uh, C for copy and then paste it into your, into your Word document. So let's just copy it this way. Okay, we're going to copy it this way we're going to say copy chart and then I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and I'm going to open up my um, Google Doc and this is a brand new doc because I haven't started doing that yet and so now I'm going to click I'm going to right click and I'm going to click paste paste chart and then we're going to we don't care whether it's linked to the spreadsheet or not so we're going to paste it unlinked and then we can paste it right there and so there's my chart while I while I'm doing this and you can edit a few things if you want to on the on the chart diagram. It's pretty easy to do. Here's suggested edits. And so we'll see what they're suggesting. I don't see anything there that they're suggesting, so we'll leave that there. Okay, you can center it. You can put it to one side. You can change a couple of things here on the image, but we're fine with that. So while we're here, let's look at, okay, I'm going to close that. Um, so we're going to, we're going to look at putting in a table. Okay, so we're going to insert a table. And we're going to tell, we need a table that's going to have four columns. And um, if you need to put all of your data in here, then we'll put five rows. Okay. And so my table is going to have, um, well, where'd it go? <laughs> Might insert my table. Okay. So we're going to have four, col five, four columns and five rows. Okay. Six rows. And so here's my table. I'm going to put my um, <clears throat> solution names and trials. So I'm going to put slash and then trials. Okay. And then here's my water. And here's my water plus uh, soap. And here's my water plus um, sugar. And then here's my trial one, trial two, trial three, trial four, trial five. And if I want to add another another row here, then I can add form, I'll go to format and tab, table and it's say insert row below. So we'll insert one more row there for my um, my means or my averages. Okay. And then I can enter my uh, data there. If you want to change this a little bit, you can highlight this row and you can go up here and you can make, you can center each one of those. You can make it in bold print if you want to do that. If you want to center these terms also, you can click on that as well and make those bold. You can enter your data there and then it's ready to go. So there's your chart 
and your, uh, there's your graph, rather, okay, and your table, and you've already got those done for your lab report. I hope that helps. We'll see you in class on Tuesday.